Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. It's Monet here. So, um, I'm currently studying right now and I just felt really inspired to finally hop on a video and talk about how, you know, I balance social media and nursing school and just how I do it. <laughs> just how I do it, personally, okay? I can't really speak for everyone in their situation, but I would love to tell you about how I process everything and make sure that I can do what I wanna do and keep these grades right, keep this brain right, keep everything, you know, in check. So if this is your first video here, hi, welcome. I hope you guys stay a while. Uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button. You know leave a like because your girl is trying to make a hustle out here on youtube so without further ado let's get into the video let's see i should make a list about things i want to hit because i want to keep this video you know short and to the point so let me actually jot down this is like one of my tips <laughs> i have so many notebooks that have different things like this is my content notebook and i just be jotting anything in here from you know content deadlines ideas you know so i just i just flip open any page and i'll just like write whatever i need to say so for this video the points i want to hit are balancing school and medias homework study tips i mean i really feel like i can just i just want to sit down and talk you know so i'm currently a senior in nursing school and you guys probably see me posting on every freaking social media outlet there is <laughs> on instagram i'm always posting their tiktok i post like once a day youtube i'm out here you know um and it is very much a passion of mine i feel like that's a huge driving factor is that if you have a passion for it that's really what's gonna light a fire under your ass and and you know inspire like inspiration just comes when it does and i act on it that's hence why i'm recording this video right now i'm literally in the middle of taking notes and i was just like i i want to film so here i am <laughs> And that's okay because, you know, I got a little extra free time today, so I can't just hop on this video. I feel like the first step is to identify is if you want to do social media. That's the thing. A lot of people love, you know, the benefits of it, seeing like this, the outcomes and seeing the results of social media. But if you don't have that passion, it's not going to be an enjoyable experience. I feel like that's what really draws people to you is they see that they see that you love doing it and whatever it is you don't have to do specifically what other people are doing i feel like you need to act on what you like to watch i feel like that's a big thing it's like figuring out what your thing is whether it's cooking whether it's you know i like watching murder mystery and makeup you know there's so many different passions and like things that you can use social media for so that's the first thing is like figuring out what your path is and if you really want to do it and if you have a passion for it. Second thing is once you let go of worrying about what other people are thinking about you, the world is yours. Do you hear me? The world is yours. I was on YouTube since 2012. So I was 12 years old. Um, and I would post whatever the fuck. <laughs> um, and this was when I was in middle school. So at that point it was like, it was cool. It was fun. And like, what's on my Christmas list? And like... Things like that so i always grew up loving youtube so it's just a dream to have my own little platform out here but um once i moved to high school i really started caring about what other people think and it's hard to grow out of that but i'm at this i'm at a place in my life where i've conquered self-love you know that's a very long and beautiful journey that i hope that everyone i just hope that everyone has full self-love sooner than later because I wish that I lived my whole life just loving myself completely unconditionally and it's okay like that's really what is a huge factor as well is not is, is loving yourself your flaws and then not caring what other people think so I know it's easier said than done I had my fair my fair journey too and when I first started posting on TikTok or anything I was just like <gasps> even like my best friends I was like oh my god my best friends are gonna see this they're gonna think I'm like so cringe just trying so hard and like you can't think like that and it's a long journey to get it was a long journey to get my audience i didn't know what i was doing at first i didn't know that i had a goal i didn't know that i wanted to get this far and now, now that i'm here it's like 
I'm so glad that I kept posting. And I just did it for fun and really just for me. Um, and you'll have your moment. Just be consistent and in terms of posting on social media, be consistent. Do what you love and what you are passionate about and you will draw the right people to you. And I'm just so grateful looking right now, just like, I have the coolest fucking people in my comments and people who watch me and stand me and I love you guys. It's so dope. Like, I literally will sit here and answer every comment. Like, you can, you can go on my YouTube channel. I've answered every single comment. <laughs> I just love it. I just love it. So, nursing school. Honestly, I feel like nursing school is in the way of my social media hustle. Because I'm like, girl, that's where my passion... I have a passion for both places, but for social media, it's just burning. Like, I would love to do this full time. It's, re it's very much a dream. Like... And I feel like this is definitely my time to take advantage of that. I don't want to sleep on these moments because I feel like it's now or never. So, um, and listen, I'm on my senior year of nursing school. I am not leaving now, girl. I'm right there at the finish line. So it's more so just now that the semester started, I figured out my schedule in terms of my responsibilities for my classes and how much time I need to allot to each class. And now that we're in October, like, I definitely have my little system going. And I'm very, I'm a very organized person. I need to be, I need to know every single thing that's going on that week. So, I showed my little journal in my last video. This is my agenda book. Everyone, I swear, this is the key. If you have an agenda book and you check it frequently and you write in it frequently, that's the best way to set, set yourself up for success. Planning out your week and sticking to it that's the important sticking to it if you say you're gonna study for three hours you have three hour gap on tuesday you are going to study then because you set yourself up that that is your time you're doing that if you push it back that's when you start getting overwhelmed that's when you start getting crowded that's when you start like you know and i feel like a big thing for nursing school success is that studying isn't homework they don't assign you studying time they don't assign you those things which is harder it's it's more of your own responsibility to get it done and man i how many times do i say i'm going to go study like i literally am just going over notes reading them taking notes reading the textbook like that's not assigned homework but you know you need to do it to be successful so what i like to do is i like my weekends i've always cherished my weekends and my free time so i have class monday and tuesday in person that's it and I could say oh I go to school and then I'm off Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday no no I'm doing school every single day of the week honestly um, and what works for me now is that I just have my own schedule I'll just tell you what it is Monday and Tuesday I have school so I'm kind of off the grid I'm not really doing anything besides school then um, Wednesday is when I do my business stuff I'll usually have calls that day that's the only day I'm available to do like calls um, and I'll do content that day, usually if I'm feeling it, I'll definitely do content that day. So basically I'm like, I'm working every day of the week, and then Saturday and Sunday, it really gives or take each week. I'll, I can move my shit around how I want, but I'm doing a lot of studying, um, and editing. Editing takes, like, Saturday and Sunday. I'm either studying or fully editing interchangeably between those days. My YouTube videos take, like, the weekly vlogs are an hour long, you guys, but it's four hours of footage. It takes me, like, days to edit it. <laughs> so definitely have to put that in my schedule, but I enjoy it. I really do. Like, I would spend, like, last Saturday, I spent the whole entire day editing. And it was lit. It's crazy just seeing the hours fly by because it flies by when you edit. And then for TikToks, for my full three-minute TikToks, um, whether it's a try on haul, whether it's a makeup get ready with me, like they take two hours fully to edit. So, you know, it's just, I love to seize the moment. I love to act on my inspiration. So I like to get most of my shit done Monday and Tuesday so that I have a lot of wiggle room to get shit done that I like to do. Do you know what I'm saying? So I'm just looking at my planner for this week and you know, I'm going out Thursday, Friday and Saturday for Halloween. So you know what that means I'm hustling <laughs> Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm getting everything that I need to do done. It's just, it's just prioritizing and just getting your stuff done early. That's what really works for me is I do not procrastinate. Not trying to toot my own horn, but like, I don't like to feel like that. I will not put myself in that situation. So I'm going to get it done early. You know what I'm saying? So... <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm literally sitting back here like, no, I'm just, I'm just feeling passionate right now, okay? Um, okay, future me popping in. <laughs> there were some things I didn't hit that I really just wanted to and I have to add real quick. Um, another huge thing recently that has taken a lot of the social media weight off my plate is signing to management. Girl, that's a huge thing I didn't even mention. So I'm based, I'm like two weeks into management. Um, right when the first week of school started is when I got invited to the NARS LA trip and I had so many emails and campaigns and sponsorships that I didn't even mention in this video either. What the hell? That's a huge part of it as well. Um, with the type of videos that I do, you know, beauty, makeup, fashion, there's a lot of sponsorship opportunities in that route. Um, which is a blessing and amazing, but very overwhelming for me to execute from beginning to end you guys it's like they take about three weeks three like give or take to complete like a full campaign um in terms of you know negotiating the rate and getting the timeline and creating the content editing doing the review like getting their feedback making the other edits doing the invoice w9 Keeping track of all of those things for multiple projects at once on top of nursing school got so overwhelming. And then picking up and flying to LA, it was just like, that was when I just like, everything came to a head. <laughs> and then the amazing management company called Kensington Gray hit my line. And I had a few management uh, companies reach out that just like weren't the right vibe. But I just knew the vibe was right when they hit, hit my line. So we got on a call, I signed to management, and they've taken so much weight off of my plate. Basically, I don't have, like, emails are not a part of my, like, I have a few projects that I'm finishing by myself, which are on the way out. Like, you know what I'm saying? We're closing them. Like, they're getting, they're going live and stuff. So that's just a blessing to have, like, such a great team. And I literally wrote it on my hand because I don't want to forget. Film for the week. Oh, also, yes, I film throughout the week, but I basically film for the week. It's, like, Wednesday and Thursday is, like, I feel like I'm restricted on Monday and Tuesday. I can't film anything and I'm like, I have all this built up ideas and stuff. And then when Wednesday and Thursday come, I just execute everything that I want. So I have the content and then I'll kind of disperse it like throughout the weekend, like editing them and I'll post them throughout the week. That's usually, my thing is like, I like to post once a day on TikTok, like one video a day. Whether it's a full get ready with me that took me two hours to edit or whether it's just like a time lapse of me cleaning my room or whether it's a really easy transition like, I just like to put out content on TikTok once a day. I like to be consistent. So I don't want you to think that I'm doing this every single day, even though I'm posting it every day. It's easy to be like, oh my God, like she has so much time. She's doing this every single day. But like 99% of the time, <laughs> I look like I have a bun on my head. Like you saw the weekly, you saw the weekly vlog. I probably had glam once in that whole entire video. And I usually have the glam on just for the, that video and then I take it off. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I don't want you to think that I'm just, I'm doing it every day. It's like, I'm saying I barely ever scroll on the gram. I don't even scroll on TikTok like that. I just post and go, like, <laughs> it's kind of crazy. But those are two things I wanted to mention in this video, um, to give you some reassurance or just some more clarity because I don't know how I forgot those two huge things. Yeah, back to the video. And it's really just locking in for me. I like, I don't like to spread my shit out really throughout the week. Like, if I have my Spanish assignments do like why are my it's the electives that give you the most homework like why do I have 30 things due for Spanish oh it's so annoying but like I will sit down and I will knock them all out the way last week I had like 15 ATIs due like the next week but I knew I wasn't gonna have time to do them ne the next week I finished them all it took me like six hours literally 12 p.m. I sat down 6 p.m. I was done my homework like but it's okay like as long as you just plan that's what really helps me is planning planning organizing strategizing you know i'm thinking in advance for my instagram like oh i'm going out this day i'm definitely gonna get an instagram picture and i'll post it that the following night along with the instagram stories and like okay well if i'm not gonna go out for another week then i'll just probably push that post a couple more days so that there's not too much lag time in between like i just think it, homework and study tips so i guess i'll just show you my i'll just flex my notebook because this psych notebook is so good. Like, I'm just, the notes are just so crispy. Oh, I didn't highlight these yet. Oh, I have to go through and highlight them. So I usually just go through my first run 
and I'll just write everything out. So you see, I like to write my notes. This is literally one chapter. This is one chapter. They're doing us dirty on this chapter. So this was one chapter of notes that I wrote <laughs> for substance abuse. And I'll write them out and then like I'll retouch, I'll touch base again with these notes and I'll just go through and highlight everything. So I'm kind of just reading it again. It's kind of like me low key studying in like a quick way. Just kind of like, oh, okay, I remember that. Highlight, highlight, and I color coordinate my highlighting. So you can see this one I already went through and highlighted. So these are all, I have my own key about what they mean. Like green is kind of like the big subject. Yellow is just like little details. Orange and pink are like the subgroup. So this is what helps me. I like to color coordinate. I like to highlight. I like to, this, this I've learned over the past four years of being in nursing school. This is the way that works for me. So you can see, this is kind of how I do my notes and I make sure that they're, they're organized so that when test time comes, I have great notes to study on and I, I, that's all I really need to do. You know what I'm saying? So I take everything I need from the textbook and the PowerPoints and put it all in my own book. So I just have that. That's my study guide. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's how I like to, that's how I like to roll. Now let's see, creating content. I do want to talk a little bit about creating content. A lot of people ask about how I film and edit and all of those things. So for my YouTube videos, I use the Sony ZV-1 camera I'm using right now, period. It was my little investment, you know. That's another thing. You have to invest in things. And also, it's it's a long journey that you, that you don't have to be perfect. You don't have to be perfect to post something. Like, I... So this is honestly... <laughs> um, I had the iPhone 8. And I would like do my little transitions and shit and I would post them and get like literally one like like 15 views period and I would post them and I would go about my day and shit and they weren't anything crazy but that's honestly practice that's how you practice and it's cool because not that many eyes are on you it's like you can practice you post it you go whatever but leave them up like that was a big thing it's just getting out of that feeling of like oh my god like no one liked this i'm embarrassed like no you gotta keep going seriously keep going keep going keep going um I'm, i feel like i'm talking to like the younger my younger self and if it is like <laughs> i feel like i'm talking to my younger self like keep going don't care about other people think really you're living your life and if, like, if you can inspire anyone, if you can make someone laugh, if you can teach someone something, like on your little video, it's impressionable, it's important, it's, you're valuable, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, I would post my iPhone 8 and like I had really bad storage, I had, I had like no storage and it was so frustrating because all I wanted to do was just edit and like it wouldn't like film, like literally it would glitch and like not save the videos that I would film because I had no storage. So it was just super frustrating. This was like December. So I ended up buying like my first phone, the iPhone 12 by myself with my own money, girl, because, and I bought the highest storage because I was like, I want to do this, bro. And I don't want to have this problem ever again. It was so fucking frustrating. So I invested in that girl. And this is what I use to take anything on TikTok, anything on Instagram. I use my iPhone 12. You don't need anything crazy. Um, and I'm still paying for this monthly. It's not like I have money like that just to drop on shit. Um, the camera was an investment. I put it on my Best Buy credit card, you know what I'm saying? And I'm paying it off. Like, these are investments that will be worth it if you really want it. So, I edit on the app Video Leap. A lot of people ask me for my shit and, like, my edits. Um, YouTube, I edit on Adobe Rush. I don't do too many edits on, like, my long videos because it just takes way too much time way too much time i'm not kidding the nars vlog took me literally three entire days 24 hours like spread out throughout it took me three whole days to edit that <laughs> um and i'm getting better that was like my first like long video and like my last weekly vlog it took me about two days like two sessions two like six hour sessions to fully edit because i have to re-watch it every time i say this every time but my TikToks and stuff, I like to do like edits and shit because they're shorter. That's why it takes two hours because I do like a lot of zoom ins, um, sound effects, and like layovers and like stuff like that. So I'll actually just show you because I just posted this one. So this is Video Leap. And this is a project that I just posted. This was my spider eye tutorial. So as you can see, if you just glimpse at the timeline here, there's lots of, so I have a picture pop up here. So I have a picture pop up, I have music, I have texts on the screen. 
So you see, like, these are all the things, all the splits, all the segments are how I like, crop and zoom and, like, edit my videos. Um, and this is something I've learned over, it's just practice and, like, finding your own way of doing things because I'm not going to edit, like, the next girl and they're not going to edit, like, me. It's like, we all have our own personal little taste and flair, but this is how I like to do it. So this app is very, it's free. It's super fucking easy. I wish it was sponsored. I sound like I'm, like, video leap, bring me my money. <laughs> But they have really great sounds that I use. Some of them get copyrighted and like taken down by TikTok, which is so freaking annoying. But that's what I use to edit my stuff. And like for my Instagram pictures, everything is taken on this phone, girl. All the videos are taken on this phone. I use the back camera because that's where it's at. I don't use the front camera. Um, and then I edit like my photos on Visco, you know, and like in the photo app. So a lot of all the stuff I do on my phone. You don't need anything crazy. You just need a drive and some patience to learn how to use the apps and things like that. Just be yourself. If I could just give anything, it's just be yourself and you will attract the right people. Don't like if you build your pro your, your whole platform trying to be something you're not, it's going to be exhausting to keep up with that. So I promise that the people you attract will be the people for you and the right audience for you. And if you want to do social media, you can do it. You can do it. And I mean, there are moments that like, there are the pros and cons to everything in life. And I don't know. I just know that you can do it. And I just, I'm looking back at myself like this is the past. I, I got my first partnership in February. So it's been like eight months or something. So it's still fairly new and it's really fun. And I just can't believe this is like such a huge part of my life. <laughs> And I'm just having so much fun, like over anything, it's just so much fun. And having support, like my family supporting me is like everything to me. Like my mom, my brother, Gabriel, like my grandma even, like it just makes me feel so good. And that's all you really need is just a little bit of support and just block out the haters. Cause listen, I had a fair share of weird things, weird like people acting weird. I do have a lot of stories about that, but like, you have to choose your, what you want for your life. It's your life. You can't live it based on others. You can't. And this is, you know what I'm saying? So. <laughs> I should do a makeup get ready with me one. I would love if you guys left me specific questions. If you have any specific questions, leave them down below because I would love to do another video like this, except I'm going to do my makeup and I'll be answering the questions. So a little Q&A and stuff, you know what I'm saying? I feel like that'd be really fun and informative. So, and listen, honestly, the chances of you leaving a comment and me answering it are very high because that's all I like to do. So yeah, let me know down below if this was helpful. Um, and I'm sure there's a lot of things that I didn't touch that I should have. So let me know down below any questions, please, because I will be whipping up that video probably next week. So definitely have a little timeline. So... I would love if you guys liked and subscribed if this was helpful and like if you're on the same kind of path as me or if you just look up to me or if I don't know I inspired you in any way because that just means the world and uh, I'm being corny but listen you got it you can do whatever you want you just have the time and the patience and the energy and you got it you can do anything you can do anything get on that self-love journey you know what I'm saying love yourself unconditionally Love other people unconditionally. And the world is yours, baby. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.